with millions of people suffering from COPD worldwide, access to care has never been more important. In particular, the use of nebulized therapy for COPD patients. Realizing the critical need for medications and safe delivery systems during the COVID-19 pandemic, the COPD Foundation Nebulizer Consortium was formed. The CNC is a leading example of collaboration across multiple disciplines with the goal of ensuring safe use of nebulization for both patients and healthcare workers. The message is clear. It's absolutely safe. A nebulized therapy in the treatment of COPD uh, is absolutely safe. And the CNC is making sure that message is heard. CNC stands for the COPD Foundation Nebulizer Consortium. The CNC um, was started based on the pandemic and it was driven by a need that we realized that physicians were really moving away from nebulization as an option for their patients. Um, this was due to a concern around possible viral spread um, from the nebulizer in COVID-19 patients. In the early stages of the coronavirus pandemic, there was an uncertainty and fear around the treatment that is so necessary for millions of COPD sufferers. It was unacceptable that patients who required nebulized therapies were not being given access to them because of you know, what we now know was it was an unfounded fear. For patients who are having respiratory distress or respiratory failure, it's often hard for them to use the other alternative types of therapy. And so we formed the consortium. Through collaboration, the consortium set out to develop solutions that ensure the safety and education of patients, caregivers, and healthcare professionals. We brought pulmonologists, respiratory therapists, and we brought patients along. Device manufacturers, medication manufacturers, respiratory therapists, uh, clinicians. We also have some government representation uh, on there. A multidisciplinary coalition clearing up misconceptions and busting myths. And, and one of those myths was that, uh, that nebulizers themselves are, are spreading respiratory infections. And that is, is simply not true. We brought together aerosol generating procedure experts to really try and understand about the risk of viral spread. All aerosols are not created equal. First, I would like to differentiate medical aerosols from bioaerosols. Medical aerosols are generated uh, by nebulizers or inhalers, uh, as opposed to bioaerosols that are generated by patients during cough, uh, talk, sing, or sneeze. The CNC focused on evidence and science-based education. They thought uh, professional organizations uh, advised against the use of nebulizers in the era of COVID-19. And that's another misconception. The work of the consortium is critical. Yes, it's very important to me. And I think I started on a nebulizer in 2019. It's just been a constant battle. I was uh, diagnosed officially with COPD in 2006. Dan Keeling loved playing golf and working to support his family. I feel guilty because of the burden I placed on my wife. There are at least 16 million adults in the U.S. with diagnosed COPD. It might be a, as high as another 15 to 16 million who have evidence of COPD but have never been diagnosed with it. There absolutely is a population that relies daily on nebulization and they deserve these answers. They deserve the education that, we're gonna gener that we've generated. They deserve the research we're planning as well as the governance. It's the three strategic pillars of the CNC, guidance, research, and education, and each is a working group. Research identifies potential gaps and addresses them. And then the guidance group is particularly uh, interested in, in looking at the various guidelines that have been developed. Uh, the education working group is charged with educating both patients, healthcare providers. The big challenge at the education that we have to do is tell healthcare providers, listen, we can give those long-acting bronchodilators, long-acting medications on a nebulized delivery system. It's crucial to offer the patients this variety 
of possibilities how to get the medications. My grandmother suffered from COPD and used nebulization daily. And so the thought of someone being unable to continue their nebulization um, is really, um, hits me hard. One of the many motivations for forming this multidisciplinary patient-focused partnership. We keep the patients at the center of everything we do at the CMC. People really do need this patient input on these things. That's what kind of makes this consortium different than a lot of things. The CNC has been a personal highlight of my career because of the collaboration that comes along with that. So this is a very unique collaboration. The innovative work triggered by the pandemic will continue long after ensuring the safe use of nebulization. Nebulizers are a vital part of patient care. Many patients cannot use other devices because they do not have the respiratory strength to do so. Literally, helping the world to breathe. Now, that is the ultimate mission of the CUPD Foundation.